and this was another one of Cheryl's brilliant ideas. There's a TV show. There's a series. I'm not sure if it's on Netflix or what. What? No, it's not Netflix. There's a there's a crime show, like a detective show called um, Harry Bosch, B O S C H. And um, Cheryl was watching the show, and she heard this instrumental piece of music on this TV show. And she said, um, I want to write lyrics to that and record it with the Manhattan Transfer. OK, fine. The piece that she heard was written by um, a young saxophone artist by the name of Grace Kelly. If you have not heard Grace Kelly, you, you must go immediately. You know, do not pass go. Go immediately and get, um, you know, and, and hear some of her stuff. She is phenomenal. Um, she plays all the saxophone family. She's about this tall and, and actually plays the baritone sax. It's almost as tall as she is. Um, and she, I know she's done some work on um, like The Tonight Show and all kinds of stuff. But she wrote this. I had never met her, and at the time I hadn't heard of her, but she wrote this instrumental piece called Blues for Harry Bosch. Cheryl wrote lyrics to this instrumental piece, uh, and the saxophonist um, um, Grace Kelly uh, had, had written and arranged this instrumental part. So I just tweeted her. I tweeted Grace, and I said, hey, my name is Merv. I'm producing Manhattan Transfer. We're recording your blues for Harry Bosch. Um, I don't know where you live. Um, I'm in L.A. Is there any chance that you'll be in L.A. in the next few months? We'd love to have you play saxophone on it. She goes, oh, my God, I'll be in L.A. in two weeks, because she, she lives either in Boston or New York. I said, oh, would you like to come and play on this? Absolutely, of course I will. So two weeks later, um, Grace showed up at my place and played on this. So she's kind of featured on this. Cheryl wrote the lyrics. Um, and this was, a, this was a different kind of arrangement because it was sort of piecemeal. We sat down and Cheryl said, OK, let's do harmony here. And so I would just, on the spot, I'd figure out some harmony parts, teach it to them, and we'd record it. So this one does not have a full chart. But the song doesn't have a bridge. Um, the original composition does not have a bridge. And I sort of conceived of this kind of bridge. And by the way, this whole thing is kind of an ode to film noir. You'll hear the lyrics. It's all very kind of ominous and you know there's a woman who's um, um, she's killing these men and she you know she she and she traps them and blah 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 it's all in good fun um, but uh, so you you'll get that so it's evoking this kind of imagery you and you'll hear that and um, but I wanted this kind of since this, it didn't have a bridge I wanted this to add a section so I added this kind of instrumental section and I had the group singing these ooze and once again they're kind of these kind of a tonal ish ooze um, that magically had to, it starts in C minor ish and had to cadence in E flat minor ish. So you'll hear that. This, so this is the only part I wrote out because I had to figure this out mathematically. Other than this that you're looking at, this particular piece has no chart. And it's so funny. Day before yesterday, Cheryl emailed me and says, Hey, Merv. I know there was no chart for Blues for Harry Bosch. We're getting ready to do it live. Can you write out the parts? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. Anyway, I would love to play for you uh, Blues for Harry Bosch. You now know some of the background. I'll point at the screen when we get to this part so you can follow along. The rest of it, just enjoy. <laughs> 